came upon me. They stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this I will be confident. I've got a promise. Turning back is not an option. There's a calling on my life. I'm not about to drop it. I got this. For this I was chosen. The final word over me was spoken before I was born. I have a purpose that goes far beyond what I want, what I feel, what I see, what they say cannot be. With God, all things are possible. And when my desire aligns with the divine, I am unstoppable. In this, I will be confident. Of course the climb is hard. I'm not surprised. The dream is difficult by design to make sure I rely on his might, not mine. His plan, not mine. His hand, not mine. My assignment was conceived in his heart, his mind. And the blessing ahead will always be greater than the battle behind. So this is not the time to compromise or entertain a thousand lies and a million reasons why I can't or it won't or it's not or I'll never. I've heard it before, so shut up, devil. God didn't say he'd make it easy. He said he'd make me better, make me strong and give me grace to carry on. No matter what the opposition, I only need one weapon. I have the faith to overcome. In this, I will be confident. I'm too close to quit. And the stakes are too great for me to hesitate. So whatever it costs, whatever it takes, I keep coming. I show up and take the shot with my hands shaking. The fear is real, but it won't break me. God will not fail me, nor forsake me. I'll keep coming. I'll step to the battle like it's already won. Like I got the enemy on the run. I speak and believe like it's already done. In this, I will be confident. He made me a promise. He gave me a call. I know that he's able to keep me from falling. I focus my hope. My excuses are gone. The moment to prove the power of God has come. He made me a promise. He gave me a calling. I know that he's able to keep me from falling. I focus my hope. The past is gone. The moment to prove the power of God has come. In this, I will be confident. The time is now. The odds are long. The haters are loud. The pressure is on. The devil, you mess with the wrong one. I got my sling. I got my Hey, everyone, 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 we are live now, wherever you're joining from. Today is quite a special day. I don't know where you're joining from, but come on, I encourage you all to begin to share this broadcast. I'm ready. I'm excited. I want to learn. It is time to grow and the double is on ending. So there's limitless possibilities on this broadcast. So as you join, I encourage you, please, please, please share, 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 share the broadcast, share the broadcast. Everyone to join. We don't want to go up alone. We don't want to be up alone. We don't want to achieve alone. We want everybody to join. We want to bring everybody on board tonight. So please, I encourage you to share this broadcast. Bring everybody you know. Tell them. You see, tell them you've got no excuse after today. You know, this is the day for change. This is the day that something shifts in your life. My guest is ready. Today, I'm not going to take much time. I am so fired up. I want to learn. My notepad is ready. I want to learn. I want to learn. I don't know about you, but please go and share. Go and share because once I bring him on, I'm going to shut up and let him speak. Once he's on, I'm not speaking. Once he's on, I'm not saying anything. I want to learn from the best. I want to learn from someone with experience. I want to learn from someone who is so blessed. Now, if you look at what I put on there, power to get wealth. You see, everything is within, but we want to learn how to bring it out, how to maximize it, how to optimize it, how to utilize it, uh, how to engage, how to leverage what God has blessed us with. And I'm so excited. So I'm giving you a couple of minutes to go on and share, go on and bring people on. 
tag your friends tell them bro this is the time your business partners look one of the people you want to bring on board tonight are your business partners because you want to ensure that you're going in the same frequency as we run after COVID, even during COVID. I don't want to be going, you know, I don't want to be on, on, on third base. And then my business partner is on first base trying to see, should I go back? Should I go to second base? Should I go to first base? Should I go to... No, I want my business partners to be running with the same frequency. So when I'm batting, I want him to take flight. I want him to run. You don't want people when you're trying to bat, they're in between first base and second base. And then they, they hold you up and you can move. You want people that are ready. As a footballer, if, you, if you're given the pass, you want someone to anticipate what you're playing and then understand, understand the game and run with it. So you want your business partners to be on the same frequency, your wife, the same frequency, your husband, your children, gather your children around. Look, my kids and I, my daughter, 12 year old and I, just a couple of minutes ago, we were analyzing, you know, business strategies and sports philosophies and all that learning from them. So get your children. They're not too young to be a part of this. So get people on, tag someone. We pray. I always say that we pray. How much do we get ready to succeed? We pray to succeed, but do we get ready? Do we plan for success? I don't know about that, but I'm I'm so fired up. I'm so fired up. I'm waiting on you. You gotta tag somebody. Tell them this is the time. Look, I give you permission to bombard somebody's inbox and tell them you gotta watch this. I give you put a blame on me. <laughs> put the blame on me tonight. Tell them look, double said I should tag you. Because he doesn't want you to be the same way you've been all your life. He doesn't want you to live from hand to mouth. He doesn't want you to live with a beggarly mentality. He doesn't want you to live with a with a with an accusing mentality, a surviving mentality. He wants you to thrive. Tell them, tell them to join. Tell them to join. Tag all of them. All your family members, tag them. Tell them, look, I don't want you coming stretching hands no more and bringing nothing on the table. This is a good opportunity to learn. So tell them to come on. I'm excited. I'm excited. We would we would run on and we won't stop. Once we are on, we won't stop because I'm ready to take notes. So you got let me check the time. One minute more. It's 59 seconds as I speak now. And then we're we're gonna get running. So come on now. Come on. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. My God, this is the day that the Lord has made for rejoicing and gladness. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Woo! Come on now. And Father God, even before we get on, we we'll begin to pray and sensitize this atmosphere. We pray to stay for your servant, oh God, that you've blessed so much with resources, Lord, both natural and mental, psychological and spiritual. We pray for him, oh God, even as he comes up to teach, to educate us, to incite us, to charge us, to challenge us to correct us oh god and to bring revelation and knowledge lord to us we pray that you're given clarity of speech and boldness we pray to stay that you cause his mind to be agile we pray to stay that you give him nimbleness of mind that the spirit is speaking we ask this day oh god that you energize him strengthen him from within but we ask this day open his eyes even as he speaks as he breaks bread with us open his eyes to things that he hasn't even seen before give him insight into your world my god you said it's the glory of the Lord to conceal and matter, but it is the glory of kings to search them out, oh God. We come, Lord, representing kings this day, God, ask him, Lord, even as he speaks, oh God, as a king in an industry that he functions in, oh God, Lord, give him insight into your word. We bind any spirit that is not a few, oh God, that make any attempt to obstruct, to cause distraction, Lord, while we learn. We are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. We understand as a Matter of fact and truth that the enemy would not want us to concentrate and get revelation that will transform our lives but the devil is a liar we plead the blood of jesus over this broadcast this night we declare this day that this becomes an avenue this becomes a platform lord that lives are changed and transformed in the name of jesus we ask the state that this becomes a platform that businesses oh god begin to experience scalability oh god we declare that this becomes a platform that people will leverage oh god where they where they are and what they have oh god in the name of jesus father we bless you god father we bless you god oh without further ado without further ado i i want to salute all the people all the business owners who have come on this broadcast tonight i want to salute the grace of god upon your life 
We bless God for the grace of God on your life tonight. All the people who have been tagging me wanted to land. Apostle, we salute you. God bless you, sir. We want to land. This is a good platform. I tell you the truth. I thank God for your lives. People that decided to be on board. I would not waste time because we want to maximize this man today. So without um, further ado, I want to introduce my guest, Mr. Gerald Wilkins. is a man that I've got to know within the brief period. Let me, for the sake of those that um, were not here the last time, for the sake of those that were not here the last time, I just give you a little bit of um of, of his profile. So you understand who, who we're dealing with, you know? So a lot of times we got to understand, you know, who, who, who is teaching. So you understand what you're getting out of this subject today. I am so waiting for him to begin to speak. I am so waiting for him to begin to speak. So. You get ready. I'm still giving you time to get your notepads, you know, your books, your iPhones, everything ready. And once we start, we are on. So please, 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 please get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. We want to we want to start running tonight. We want to start running tonight. I just want to let you know who, who is teaching tonight. He's a man that serves and fears God with 16 years in a direct, um, direct sales profession. It's a man that fears God in 60 years in a direct sales profession. Um, featured in Success from Home magazine and inducted into the Network Marketing Pro Million Dollar Hall of Fame. He has built combined organizations of tens of thousands of distributors that have spanned across 23 countries, including Thailand, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, Canada, South Africa, Nigeria, and the United Kingdom. Their organization has generated tens of thousands, tens of millions, I beg your pardon, of dollars in revenues over the years. Him and his lovely wife, or oh, she's online now, we salute you, Portia. Him and his lovely wife, Portia Wilkins, have been amongst the top 50 income earners in two previous network marketing companies. He earned his first million dollars by the age of 30. His most significant, when I when he said this to me, I was, I was so blessed. His most significant accomplishments amongst all these things is being the husband to his beautiful wife, Portia, and his daughter, Chandler. Please, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'd like to introduce my guest, my brother, Mr. Nnamdi Gerard Wilkins Agamo. You're welcome, sir. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. I'm always honored and uh, glad to share this uh, platform uh, with you and uh, exceedingly expresso excited uh, to be on here to just talk with everybody. Um, not talk at, at to not to talk at you, but to talk with you guys about um, concepts and ideas that are practical uh, that you can apply into your life and and really take your life, your business, your marriage, your body to a whole nother level. So, uh, Dabo Davis, thank you for having the vision and the commitment and the focus and the drive and the passion to do this. I was glad when they said unto me. Come on, let's go into the house. And and you know, I, I'm excited about what's what's taking place uh, all over the world today. You know, all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to His purpose. In other words, what we're experiencing, what we have been experiencing as a world uh, with this pandemic, the COVID nineteen. Uh, it, it's not a it, it's a shock to us, but it's not a shock to heaven. It's not a shock to God. It didn't catch heaven by surprise. Uh, as a matter of fact, it will not be the only pandemic that we see in our lifetime. And it has not been the only pandemic that has happened on Earth. There have been pandemics uh, likewise to this that have happened over the last centuries. The bubonic plague. There, there have been all types of things that have come about because the scripture declares there's nothing new under the sun. And uh, one of the things that we talked about on our last discussion, we talked about pray, plan, and work. We, we talked about being in the, in the circumference of the text of understanding that no matter what's happening, it's not what happens to you, it's what happens in you that determines where you get to. And so one thing I've learned in my brief sojourn in life is if he got, if he brought you to it, he can bring you through it. And that's not to, to demean, that's not to subjugate, that's not to underline or pass over those of us that are dealing in a real sense of what's taking place. People that have lost loved ones through this pandemic, our hearts and our prayers are with you. Those of you 
that have lost income. You've lost your ability to provide to the degree that you're accustomed to, maybe because of your job has been impacted or even your 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 business has been interrupted by what has taken place. I, I want you to understand that we are praying for you and not only praying for you with thinking about you and not only praying and thinking about you, we are giving to those causes and to those people. We're giving of our time. We're giving of our experience. We're giving of our money because money answered all things. Come on, come on, scripture. Money answered all things. So we're giving uh, those things to many of you all around the world. And uh, th there wouldn't be a better place for me to be today than to be right here with each and every one of you uh, to really share um, just, just from my experience what you can do, not yesterday, but you need a new word. You need a fresh word, fresh experiences, fresh expectations today so that uh, you can obviously accomplish what it is that you set out to accomplish. Let's talk about some things here, Dabo. Hopefully, um, within uh, the, the parameters of what we're supposed to be doing today, I'm ready to dive right in and pick back up uh, where we started with uh, session one a few weeks ago. I want to pick up sep uh, section two. We're talking today about business and finance, business and finance. I want you to write down in your notes for those of you that uh, have a desire um, to, to start a business, for those of you that have the desire to grow a business, for those of you that have been thinking about business, whether it be uh, owning a brick and mortar business, whether it's on online business, I want to talk to you about what business is. Write this down, please, ladies and gentlemen. Business, the purpose of business is to solve a problem. I think we covered this on session one, but I want to I want to review. Uh, one of my mentors taught me long ago that the objective of life and of business is to plan, do, and then review. And so I want to review real quickly uh, kind of session one of what we discussed. So business, the purpose of business is to solve a problem. You ought to be tagging and sharing, tagging and sharing to solve a problem. Business now uh, with, with the new state of the economy and where we're going through it, as you're hearing now about record numbers of, of job losses, you're hearing businesses that will never uh, be opened again. You're hearing about companies that are closing their doors from small companies that are doing $20 million or 20 million pounds, 30 million, $50 million a year in business to those that are doing hundreds and even billions of dollars of pounds every single year, you're hearing many of them impacted and affected by what's taken place with this pandemic over the last 90 days. But what's coming after that? There's life after this. And those of us that are properly positioned um, in our state of affairs, you're properly positioned, meaning you're prepared to be in position to carry the weight of what's coming. You know, for those of you that work at, I know Dabo works out and we, we, we talk about it all the time. If you are um, going to bench press in a gym, oftentimes, depending on how much you're lifting or whatever you're lifting, there's what they call proper form and proper positioning. In other words, if you're not in the proper position, if you don't have the proper form, the weight of what you are looking to lift can hurt you. And there's so many people that go into the gym, both professionals and non-professionals that can lift the weight, but because their form is incorrect, they don't get the fullness of the exercise. They don't get the fullness of the result that they're looking for because they don't have the proper form. There are others that are professionals and non-professionals that may be in the same gym and, and they lift the weight. They can lift the weight. They've done it before. They're strong enough to lift it, but maybe they have their hands positioned incorrectly or they've got their feet set in, in, in incorrectly and that weight begins to harm them. They can tear a rotator cuff. That They can tear something in their knee or they can pull a muscle. Why? Because they weren't in the proper position, just like it is in the gymnasium to build your body is the same way to build your bank account and to build your business. And might I add to build your faith? See, 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 business is the gymnasium for us to exercise our faith. Let me say it again. Business is the gymnasium for us to exercise our faith. Why? Because business, business, there's no guarantees. See, whenever, write this down, please. Whenever there is a guarantee, it doesn't require faith. 
Are you listening to me? Whenever there's a guarantee, whenever there's security, tag and share, ladies and gentlemen, tag and share. Whenever there's a guarantee, it does not require faith. Now, without faith, it's impossible to please God. As a matter of fact, you read in the scripture now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. I don't need to hope for something if there's a guarantee. And so business, the foundation of business, the foundation to be successful in business and in finances, ladies and gentlemen, write it down for your notes, tag and share is faith. Faith. I, I, I put it this way. Faith moves mountains. Doubt creates them. <laughs> tag and share. Somebody needs to hear that. Faith moves mountains, but doubt creates them. You ought to write that in the comments, tag and share somebody in this message. This needs to go viral. Now, faith is a substance of things hoped for. Now, I'm not here to preach to you. I, I will vacillate between sounding like a preacher and sounding like an attorney. Uh, I'm a blend of both worlds. Both of my parents are attorneys. They've been practicing for 30 years. So that's the business. That's the entrepreneurial side of me. But they're also in ministry. Come on. And so you'll hear me vacillate between the two. Sometimes I'll sound like Paul. Other times I will come across like Saul. But if you stay with me through the duration of this conversation, I promise you, you will walk down your own Via Della Rosa with your own cross that you're carrying. You will go through your Calvary experience and you'll wake up three days later. I hope I didn't lose you. Tag and share. We're talking about business and finance. And so as we're exercising our faith, because there's no guarantee in business, there's no guarantee that people will, will, will get started in your business. There's no guarantee that your business will, will thrive. There's no guarantee of, of, of success in your business. There's no guarantee that you'll have the right team. There's no guarantee that people will buy products from your, from your business. There's no guarantee. And this is why so many people very seldomly ever decide to engage and go all in in business because most people are looking, listen to me, for guarantees. You, you are programmed. We're programmed. We are programmed. I was programmed to have a guarantee. I was told, like many of you all over the world, go to school. Nothing wrong with going to school. I was told, like many of you around the world, get good grades. Nothing wrong with getting good grades. I, I was told, like many of you around the world, get a good education, graduate, and go out and get yourself a good, safe, secure job. I felt like, like many of you, security, when it comes to finances, security has everything to do with having a good job. And what you will now begin to see over the next few coming weeks to months is that that programming, that old script is no longer a guarantee for success as it relates to finances anymore. Matter of fact, security, the idea of security, and you're not going to like this, the idea of security is one found only in prison. <laughs> Tag and share right where you are, please, please, ma'am, please, sir. The idea of security is only applicable in prison. That's why our highest offenders, our highest criminal offenders, they go to what they call, listen to me, maximum security. Tag and share. They are subjugated to being placed in a maximum security prison. Jared, what in the world does this have to do with business and finance? It has everything to do with it because if we don't get your mind set right, 
your mind. What has your mind been set to do? Your mind has been set by programming, all of our minds. Your mind is set on a certain programming, on a certain script, on a certain way to do things. And you're attempting to figure out why is it that I say one thing and do another? The reason being is because I say I want this, I say I want that, but I'm not doing it because my mind has been set by a certain programming. Think about how many VCRs, I'm telling my age, back in the day, would be blinking. Look at how many microwaves are blinking. The timer is blinking. Why? Because it was set to a certain programming, but something happened. An interaction or or interference happened that caused for there to be a shift. I'm hoping I am the the, the circuit shocking your mindset today. You ought to tag and share this on your wall. Are you listening to me? Here's what I will tell you. Maximum security prisons are designed, here it is, for people that cannot be disciplined. There's a regiment in prison. You wake up at a certain time. You're confined, here it is, you're confined to a certain environment, watch it, around the same people 24 hours a day. In a maximum security prison, you are confined to the same type of food every single day. You see the same things every single day. You don't go anywhere outside of what the regiment is designed for you to go to. You're not designed to do anything that is outside of the programming and the regiment of that prison. It is the same thing every single day because you are under maximum security. I venture to say most people (laughs) that think they are free are living in the same circumstances of prisons. that a maximum security prison provides. Jared, what do you mean? You you do the same thing (laughs) every single day. Hmm? You you do the same thing every single day. You eat the same foods at the same restaurants every single month. You, You go and visit the same places every single year. You see the same people every single year. You're doing the same thing you were doing in 2015. You're doing it in 2020 and you're saying you're free. My dear sir, you are under maximum security prisons disguised as a free will society. Why? Because at some point, somebody programmed you. This is why what you say and what you do very so often are a contradiction because you're living in a free society but have been programmed with a maximum security mindset. Shucks, you ought to tag and share. And and, and I was the same way. I was the same way until I heard from people that were free. They 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 messed around and oh here it is allowed me to have visits in prison. I was visited oftentimes, and I want you to write this down, put this in the chat, tag and share this. Your life, in your life, wherever your life is, wherever you are in life, wherever you are in life, at some point or another, you make the appointment to be there. Did you hear me? Wherever you are in life, at some point or another, you made the appointment to be there. That's why I tell people all of the time that you're born looking like your parents, but you die looking like your choices. Are you listening to me? 
you ought to tag somebody in this. Share it on your social media page. Wherever we are in life, at some point or another, we, I may feel, you know, th this right here, this session going on right now, at some point in my life, I made this appointment to be here. And I'm talking about before Dabo reached out to me to do it. At some point, the way I'd lived my life, the choices that I had made, I had made this appointment on this day to be here for you to hear what I'm saying. The money that you have or don't have, you make the decision. You make the choices to be there. Oh no, you know, it, it's the government. It, it's the it's the it's the government's fault. It's it's the, the COVID. No, 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 no. It's not COVID-19. It, it's not, it's none of that. Because here's the deal: boats don't sink because they're in water. Come on now. They sink when water gets in them. My God. So some of us, we're talking business now. Some of you are like, no, I want to know the practicalities. How do I market? How do I promote? What graphic designer do I use? Do I do I need a website? Do I? Do, you don't need any of that until you get your mind right. Jared, prove it. I'm glad you want me to prove it. People ask me, all the time, what's your favorite book to read? What is it? Og Mandingo? Is it? Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. Is it John Maxwell? All of those are fine, but you can go back and trace truth to the Bible. That's my favorite book. Why? You buy one and they give you 60 plus of them free. Now, here's the deal. Go into the book, Jared. Let's prove it. It says in the book, out of the abundance of the heart. Oh, shucks. The mouth speaks. Huh? Isn't that what it says in your book? Out of the abundance of the heart. Now, listen to me. That script, I'm talking business right now. We're talking about business and finance. I'm going to close with, with the three lands that we're in as it relates to where you are. Huh. But but I want to hit I want to hit on this because there's a difference. Most people think it's the hard work that gets you success in business and finances. And it's not. It's not just hard work. Listen to me. Write this down. Tag and share. Are you listening? It's heart work. Your heart work. Now, boy, I've been living for 36 years. And I have yet to see or meet somebody, listen, that died from a heart attack. <laughs> I've never met anybody that died from a heart attack. They were, they were working so hard. They were doing things so hard that they just died. I, I personally have never met that person. But Dabo, I have met, I have heard, I have seen people that have died, hear me, from heart attacks. Come on now. In, in other words, Dabo, their heart attacked them. <laughs> your, your heart can attack you. You have died. Some of you uh, have died from a, oh God, I heard you. A heart attack and you're still, you're still existing. Jealousy can cause your heart to be attacked. Envy. Why them and why not me? How come him and not me? I'm working as hard. I'm as eloquent. I've got my degree. I've got my master's. Why is this not working for me? And we begin to compare. And here's what happens when you compare. When you compare people or you compare yourself to, uh, to people, comparison, write it down, tag and share. Comparison is the fee to all joy. Heart attack. It is true, Dabo, that thousands of people die every single year because of what they eat. That is a fact. Thousands of people around the world die every single year because of what they eat. Their diet is horrible. All this fried foods, the trans fats, the corn, all of the, they, they are dying. It's clogging up their arteries. They're dying because of what they eat. But here's the reality. Millions more die because of what's eating them. Heart attacks. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So you're running around here decreeing and declaring. 
and try to figure out why is it not happening? Because what you're dec decreeing and what you're declaring, uh-oh, here it is. It ain't in your heart. Shucks. <laughs> it's, in, it, it's coming out of your lips. It's lip service. You're giving lip service. But you're not decreeing. You don't decree and you do not declare from your lips. It's from your mouth. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. What is the heart, Jared? I'm glad you asked. I'm talking business and finances. What comes out or what is the heart? The heart, psychologists say, has nothing to do in the context of what we're describing right now, has nothing to do with what's beating in between your chest cavities. That's not the heart I'm talking about. That, that, that heart has nothing to do with what's in it. That's not what I'm talking about. The heart I'm talking about is what psychologists label as your subconscious mind. It is the software of your mind. That's, that's the heart that scripture is talking about. It ain't talking about what's beating in your chest. <laughs> it's talking about your subconscious mind. Remember, I told you your mind is set. You're thinking about your conscious. No, no, no. I'm talking to your subconscious, your sub. See, the word sub, if you look at it, it's a grammatical construct, sub and conscious. Yeah. Sub is likened to a submarine. You don't see submarines when they're in operation. You only see a submarine when it's not working. Are you listening to me? You, 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 you very seldomly see a submarine when it's working. Why? Because it's operating and working below the surface. So submarine, subconscious, your subconscious is below your conscience. It is where, listen to me, you hold your deep, darkest truths. Your subconscious is where your limiting beliefs live. I'm not good enough. I, I'm not the right color. My, I didn't come from the right home. I come from a single mother background. I don't know my dad. See, that subconscious. Uh, what your subconscious does, and this is why you got to reprogram your, your subconscious. That's why it says, be ye transformed. Oh, I'm preaching already. By the renewing of your mind. Not the removing of your mind. Some of you have lost your mind. Ah, no, 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 no. It says, by the renew, I got to renew my subconscious. I've got to renew my subconscious because if I don't renew my subconscious, then what I begin to see consciously in business as it, as it, uh, as it relates to approach, as it relates to my, my, my strength to, 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 to forge on, as it relates to my marketing prowess, as it relates to teamwork, as it relates to sub subjugating my ego. If I do not renew my mind, what happens in the subconscious vicissitudes that I deal with, I begin to find myself depleted from all the nutrients I need to have success in business and in finances. Be transformed by the renewing of my mind. It's talking about that subconscious mind. Let the mind that be in Christ be in you. What was his mind like? Hmm? It didn't say, let, let this mind that be in G. No, it said in Christ. I'm not even gonna preach that. Let's 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 deal with business and finance because y'all, I know we're we're getting we're getting too deep. Let's let's come up for some air. Business and finances. So it starts with our mind, our mindset, our subconscious mind, our limiting beliefs. How do I feel about money? Hmm. Oh, I'm not money motivated. Uh, no, I don't really see most people are not good at business because of how they look at business. And hear this your relationship with money. Write this down, please. Tag and share it. Money, money, it is a poor master, but an excellent servant. 
Are you listening to me? Tag and share it. Money is a poor master, but an excellent servant. Money, it's a tool. But many of us are not successful in business or finances or won't even venture into it because of our relationship with money. You think money, you, you think there's nobility in poverty. That your subconscious mind it believes that there's nobility in poverty because of the programming that you've had about money. And it's it lives in your subconscious mind. When, that's why we, we hear people don't, don't talk about money. You want us to talk about everything but money. That's right. Don't don't talk about money. Or or we have to apologize, Dabo, for talking. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. We gotta explain that. Hey, so you know, we, you know, we've talked about your soul salvation. We, we've talked about you know your spiritual gifts. We, you don't have no problem talking about you know dancing in the Holy Ghost. We don't have no problem talking about laying hands and the blind seeing and the lame walk. We don't have no problem talking. But the moment we want to talk about my oh, I'll bleed the blood. <laughs> we don't always want to talk about money. It ain't about money. God's not checking for money. We, he is not, but, oh, really? So Jesus, the one that you say you're patterning your life around, that same Jesus, why did he have an accountant? Come on now. Come on, talk what to me. What are accounting for? <laughs> What's the accounting? So, so you mean to tell me Jesus had 12 men, grown men, following him for three and a half years, and you don't think he needed to understand money, have a budget and a plan to be able to hear me, feed them, to be able to clothe them, to be able to provide shelter for 12 men. See, see, you having a problem pr providing for two people. He had to provide for 12 that he was responsible for. Money is a poor master, but it's an excellent servant. I, I venture to say, Money, they say money, they say love makes the world go round, but money affords the trip. <laughs> money, money, money has energy to it. Yeah, I love that Don says money is not carnal. It is not carnal. It's spiritual about money. Oh, they not have money. No, no, no. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. How, how do you, um, what, what determines where you live? Money. With the community you live in, the reason why you live there, because of the money you earn. Think about it. The house or the apartment you live in, the reason why you live there is because of the money you can afford, uh, afford to you can afford to pay for rent or your mortgage. That's why. Yeah, Carrie, we need money to advance God's kingdom. Absolutely. The purpose of a kingdom is to expand. There are no kingdoms that are worth anything that do not have, listen, expansion plans. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Y'all don't want to get me down in that, right? I, I want to stay on business and finance. Don't, don't get me talking about kingdom. <laughs> that, you, you don't want me to talk about kingdom because if I start talking about kingdom, some of you going to leave Christianity. Shucks. All right. I'm not going to go there today. Not today. That, that, that may be for, for episode three, Dad, but we we'll right. talk about kingdom episode three. Let's talk about business. See, we got to come in with the business and finance because that's what really people want to hear about. But oh, when you seek first the kingdom. Oh, shucks. You don't want to go there today. All right. All right. So so let me pick back up what I'm putting down. So, so, so money, what determines where you live? What determines what you drive? Hmm? Money. What? What? Here it is. What determines what you eat, how often you eat, where you eat? Money. Mm -hmm. What? What determines what type of insurance you have? Health insurance, life insurance, vehicle insurance. What determines what type of insurance? You Money. Hmm. I, I, I never forget, I, I had a friend of mine, mentor of mine. He told me his goal, this was years ago, years ago. Everybody say years ago, years ago. This was years ago. This, this had to be about a decade ago. 
Because remember, I, he was a visitor of mine while I was in prison. <laughs> I was in prison. He, he was a visitor. You know, in, in maximum security prison, they, they have the telephone. You ever seen it on TV? I don't know if you guys have ever been. You've been on TV. Uh, they, they got the little phone and they talk through the plexiglass because you're under maximum security. So he was one of my visitors. I was in prison. I was in prison in my mind. Some of you are still in prison and I'm showing up. Me and Dabo are showing up as your guest, picking up our phones to dial into you. My God. He said something that, that started to free me. Dabo, he said, um, my, my goal this year is to tithe six figures. Lord have mercy. Dabo, I, I'm, I'm sitting down with my phone listening to him because I'm under I'm in maximum security prison at this time. Come on now. I'm shackled in my subconscious. Because I never thought that it's even possible to have a mindset to say, I want to tithe $100,000 for the year. It never even crossed my mind because at that time, my mind was set on maybe oh. one day I got earning $100,000 for the year. And yeah. here he was showing up as a visitor to say, my goal is to get, oh, shucks. To um, give a hundred grand away. Do you understand if I'm if I'm just giving 10%, a hundred grand means I've at least earned a million for the year. That's right. And I, I'm sitting there in the prison of my mind, listening to him say this to me. Watch it on a video. Shush. <laughs> I'm watching it. I had never met him. I, I happen to be introduced to him like many of you are being introduced to me on a video. My God. I'm seeing and hearing his example of how he's he's financially independent, he and his wife. I'm, I'm hearing how he's taking his children to school. I'm hearing how they're in the best schools in the country. I'm hearing about how they paid off all their debt. I'm hearing as I'm shackled in the imagination of my maximum security mind. And he's talking about what they're doing. He's talking about being voted the top entrepreneur by the Black Chambers of Commerce. And I'm listening to this brother. And he says, our goal is to tie six figures for the year. And the shackles on my mind began to fall off. Woo. And I said, uh, he's no respective person. If he'll do it for him, he can do it for me. And I started to study. Because it's not, it's one thing, it's one thing to hear the word, but we are to be doers of it. I start to do that word. We start to do that word. A lot of people, a lot of people know the word, know of the word, but are you living the word? Are you walking the word? Faith is the substance of things hoped for. You have to walk by faith. Talking about business and finances. And so I want to shift gears now. Hmm. I want to talk about Dabo. I don't know how much time we have, sir. You got time. You got time. Today we got time. We got time. I, I don't have a next meeting until a couple hours. So I'm go we're ahead. to roam about the cabin. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. Good, good. We're on cruise control now. We're free to move. You know, when you're on a plane, they tell you, they turn off the seatbelt light. And they say, you're, you're free to move That's right. <laughs> <laughs> about the cabin. Ladies and gentlemen, we're, you're free to move about the cabin. Here it is. And so I, I, I started to remove the shackles from my mind. We're talking about business and finances. Remember, business, the purpose of business is to solve a problem. What problem can you solve for people? Start mm -hmm. there. What problem am I solving for people? Because here's the deal. People have problems. People have physical problems. The, the reason why you have no money or the reason why you don't have enough money, the reason why you're not living in abundance is you have not found the problem you were born to solve. <laughs> when you discover the problem that you're born to solve, you create a business and that business allows you, watch this, to charge people. <laughs> I believe in charging people. 
No, Jared, you know, see, your relationship with money, your mindset. No, it's, no, no, I believe in charging you. Why? Gucci doesn't have a problem with charging you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Fendi doesn't have a problem with charging you. Prada does not have a problem with charging you. Louis Vuitton does not have a problem with charging you. Versace doesn't have a problem. Mercedes Benz doesn't have a problem. Rolls Royce doesn't have a problem. Bentley doesn't have a problem. None of them have a problem with charging you. Here's my philosophy. Write it down. Tag and share. My philosophy is this. When people show up, build them. Come on. <laughs> people do not value free. Hmm. They don't value free. Yeah, people don't. So, so, so I have no problem with charging people to solve their problem. <laughs> We're talking about mindset. That's mindset stuff. Hmm. I have no problem telling you, hey. You want you oh you you want to have me come speak to people for an hour? It's twenty five hundred dollars. You can go to my website right now. Twenty five hundred U.S. dollars for sixty minutes of me talking to your your audience. You you charge people twenty five hundred dollars to to speak for 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 words? Yeah. Okay. All right. Watch this. Watch this. See, mindset. Watch this. W when you go to university or college, what is the exchange the professor gives you? Words. <laughs> the professor teaches you, gives you value through his or her words. And watch this. You pay for it. College and university is not free. You pay for the exchange of the information. Information, write it down. Information. It's a grammatical construct. It goes in, it forms a certain belief system or belief pattern, and you take action. Information. The reason where you are today is because of the information you've received. In other words, you can go to the same university and they're, they're different what they call departments in the university. Some people that, that are studying law, they go to the law school, same university. Others that are going to master in engineering, they go to the engineering school. Uh, others that want to be to the physicians or the pharmacy school, same university. The difference between whether you graduate as a physician or you graduate as an engineer or you graduate as a business person is the professor and the words that they spoke to you for the period of time that you were there. That's why when people show up, I believe in charging them because the words that I speak, oh, come on. The words that I speak will break off the shackles of prison on your mindset and cause you to be free. If you take the information that I speak and you apply them, listen, during test taking time, because you can never go to the next level without passing the test on the current level you're on. You do not get promoted in life unless you pass the test. And some of us, oh God, I'm about to offend you. I already know. Who? Some of us need remedial courses because you didn't pay attention doing the class when it was in session and take notes so that when it was test taking time, you didn't pass the test. That's why you've been held back, not because of a man, not because of a virus, because you have not been prepared. Help me, Lord. And every great teacher hmm. is always quiet during test taking time. Teachers don't answer questions during test taking time. T teachers don't help you uh, during test taking time. Teachers don't sit there and have a study session with you during test taking time. Now I'm coming around the mountain. Here I come for those of you during this test taking season of this COVID epidemic. You've been saying, God, I haven't heard from you. What do I need to, he ain't listening. He ain't saying nothing. 
you should have been paying attention this entire time you've been in class. And depending on your teacher and your subject, I remember in um, in algebra class, you know, algebra is, you know, algebra, that's a whole different language, right? In algebra class, Dabo, my teacher, my professor, um, they, they didn't hand out Scantrons for our test. You know, Scantron, I used to love Scantron tests coming up in school because it's A, B, C, D, or E. Most times it's A, B, C, or D. And uh, even when I didn't know the answer, we all trained. Come on, come on, tell the truth, shame the devil. When you don't know the answer on a Scantron test, what do you circle? C. <laughs> Those of us know you you highlight that C. Just go with C because there's a strong possibility out of the four answer choices. You know what? I can go one out of four, and all I gotta do is highlight the C. Most times you go C, B, C or B. If I don't know that C or B, but 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 in algebra, he never gave us a scantron test. <laughs> in algebra, um. When it was test taking time, <laughs> he would say, uh, you've got to show your work. Shucks. You got to show your work. It, he, it wasn't good enough in algebra for us to write the answer because you can get the answer from a neighbor. He would say, I want to see. Hmm, shucks. I, I want to see how you got this answer. So you need to show your work. If, if it was X plus Z equals what you need to configure it. I need to make sure that you were paying attention while I was teaching, how you need to know what to do in this situation to derive to this answer. Because here it is, if you're not careful, you will listen and hear people that can show you the answer to their test, but they cheated. Oh God. <laughs> and I'm living, I don't know about you, uh, with the invention of social media, Facebook and Instagram, there's some people out there that can show you the answer. Uh, but 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 they never show you their work. In other words, they cheated. I, I don't want to hear from people that just have an answer. I want to hear from people that can show me their work. Show your work. Let me be able to trace you. Write this down. I can't trust you unless I can trace you. People can't trust you until they can trace you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about business and finances. No matter where you go over in the world, you travel overseas or whatever it is, watch this. I'm going to prove this point. We're talking about business and finances. Let me make it practical. You go anywhere in the world, you go somewhere over in Asia or whatever it is, one of the, one of the places that you light up when you see. If you're hungry and you're like, man, I don't know what to eat. I don't, I don't know this cuisine. This is different. You look for something, listen, that you can trace. You look for McDonald's. When you see those golden arches, oh, you say, oh, I trust that. I trust the golden arches. Why? Because I can trace them. There can be no, listen, there can be no trust without transparency. There can be no trust without, this is business. Dabo would not invite me to come talk to his global audience if he couldn't trace me. He would not trust me to come show my work, to come talk to you if he hadn't been able to trace me and trust my pattern. The reason why people don't do business with you and the question you ought to be asking can they trace me? I, I would venture to say something, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that are entrepreneurial minded, for those of you that want to go into enterprise and in business, set a goal to be in business 18 months from now. What you're doing, the enterprise you're building today, set a goal that 18 months from now, you'll still be working on that business. I don't want you to become a jack of all trades, meaning you're dibbling in this, dibbling in that, dibbling in this, doing, and then labeling it as multiple streams of income. That ain't no multiple stream. That is a that is multiple drizzles of delusion. Master one of them. I'm all for brand extension. 
I'm all for having multiple brands and businesses in our portfolio. We have six of them. But I've become a master in one of them, and that stream makes path and makes way for the other five to function and to flow. And we've got systems and people in place to run those businesses, and it, it requires minimum of my on-time presence with them to grow them. I hope this is helping you. You ought to tag and share it. Are you listening to me? And, and so business and finance has everything to do with can people trust you? Can they trust your brand name? See, a brand is nothing but a name. You thought that Gucci was a brand. Gucci is a name. Jared, prove it. Okay, let me pull it up for you. Gucci is a name. Gucci is a what? It's a name. Louis Vuitton is a name. Prove it to me. Okay, here I come. Gucci. Established March 26th. January, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, uh, March, uh, March 26, 1881 to January 2nd, 1853, Guccio Gucci, listen, was an Italian British businessman and fashion designer. He is most known for being the founder of the fashion house Gucci. And here you have people all over the world wearing somebody's last name. First name, Guccio Gucci. Maybe you like Prada. You've heard of Prada. Talking about branding now in business, right? Founder of Prada, a gentleman by the name, hear me, Mario Prada. Prada was founded in 1913. Mario Prada was the founder and original designer of the fashion label Prada a company specializing in many high fashion goods for men and women, including shoes, handbags, luggage, and leather goods. Here we are in year 20, 2020. People are still wearing that last name. All right, maybe you're saying, well, Jared, are there any women? Okay, Fendi. I mean, you heard of Fendi. Fendi. We're talking about business and finances here. Listen to me, Fendi. Founded by Adele Fendi and Eduardo Fendi. Fendi was founded in Rome, 1925. Fendi is known for its fur and fur accessories and for its leather goods, such as baguettes, toujour, and all other types of things. Net income. Last year. $1.1 billion. That's Fendi. All right. You're not in the you're not in the clothes, right? Okay, you're not in the clothes. I understand. Here it is. W O Bentley. W O Bentley. Walter Owen Bentley. <laughs> Here you thought you were driving a car. You're driving a last name. Walter Owen Bentley was an English engineer who designed engines for cars and aircraft, raced cars and motorcycles, and founded Bentley Motors Limited in Cricklewood near London. He was known as W.O. without any need to add the word Bentley. Over in London. All right, here it is. You ready? I'm almost done. Rolls Royce, because I'm validating what I just taught. Henry Royce and Charles Rolls. Come on, partnership. Rolls is, is Charles's last name. Royce is Henry's last name. So they combine the last names. Rolls Royce, here it is, was a British luxury car and later an aero engine manufacturing business established in 1904 by the partnership of Charles Rolls and Henry Royce, <clears throat> founder and founded. And here you are aspiring that one day when I become successful, I, I can wear Gucci and Fendi and Prada, somebody's last name. I can drive Rolls Royce and Bentley, somebody's last name. And here I am showing up to help you understand 
to build it for your last name. Come on now. Come on. Whatever you're doing, building it for your last name. Remember, I told you the purpose of business is to solve a problem. The, the day that I design, the day that I discover what problem I am purpose to solve, then I create a business and I charge people when they show up. Rolls Royces are not free. Bentleys are not free. Gucci ain't free. Louis Vuitton ain't free. Gianni Versace is not free. They have no problem charging you when you show up. And people show up multiple times a month, multiple times a year, every single time. And they willingly take money out of their pockets, credit cards, and accounts to purchase somebody's last name. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Jared, Come on. I got a problem with that. I don't want to build it for my last name. That sounds like idolatry. I want to build it for the kingdom. Okay. You are... Now officially deputized as a kingdom financier. The kingdom advancement on earth needs some money. I'm coming to you saying right now we want to do missions work. We want to feed some hungry people. We want to pay the mortgages of people that have lost their jobs and lost their businesses. We, we, want, to, we want to feed some children. It's going to cost us 10 million pounds. How much can you contribute today? Help How me, no, 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 no. We need more than your prayer. I, yeah, mm -hmm. I love it. We receive your prayer. Yeah, come on. Yeah, we know you've been fasting and speaking in tongues and declaring the Holy Ghost. We know, but come on. I need some money. Look at mm -hmm. you. Wow. When people tell me they have a problem with my living, I tell them, match my giving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Match my giving. Yeah, we have a Maserati and a Porsche and live in a gorgeous 4,000 square foot house on the lake and all that. That's wonderful. But match my giving. Match, match our giving. I, I remember that but when, when I first started tithing, because, you know, you know I, I, I believed in tithing for everybody else except for me. <laughs> I, I believed in tithing for everybody else except for me. A friend of mine, a friend of mine, he and I, we were broke together. Uh, whereas we would go to a fast food restaurant. This is how you know you're broke. And, and you order a number one combo and, and you split it. I know none of y'all ever been there before, but, but we, would, we would order, right? And, and I watched him, I watched him in a period of uh, a couple of years go from sharing a number one combo with me uh, to earning him over $100,000 a month in business. Oh, okay. So, so, so watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Proximity is power. Right. Proximity is power. You when you hang around, when you hang around people, there's a certain aroma that gives off on you. So if you hang around people that have drowned themselves with cologne or, or perfume and, and they enter in the room, you can smell them. Watch this. Watch this. If you embrace them, even when they leave the room, you can still smell them because they're on you. See, that's that's what proximity does. It gives you that power. It gives you that aroma. So so I'm hanging around him. I'm hanging around him because I, I'm watching him do what he's doing. And I'm doing what I'm doing, but I'm watching him believe. And, 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 and here it is. He went from having, watch this, the, the, the Bentleys that he had cut out of magazines. He had them on his wall in his one bedroom apartment. He had Bentleys all over the place. He had uh, of the, the mansions that he wanted to have. He had them all over the place. The, ch the tie checks that he had written. He, he had that all over the place. All the giving, the, 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 all the clothes. He had it all over. The, and I would walk into his apartment. He would be listening to faith confessions. He, he would be listening. He would be listening to something motivated, something inspired. And I would walk into his apartment to go work out with him in the morning because I didn't understand the principle. You got to, you, 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 you hang around and you become. You hang around certain people and you become like them, right? And so I would hang around him, but, but I would still in my naivety, be be questioning and laughing and mocking. Man, it don't take all that. Why you got all this stuff all over your walls? And why are you listening to this to this minister's this minister sermon like it's a fifty cent album? What are you doing? And he started laughing at me. He's like, oh, you don't do this. No, but he started laughing. Oh, you don't have pictures up. You you don't have your goals up all around your place. You're, everybody talks about having a vision wall. And have oh, a vision no. artist. He had a vision environment in his in his car on the circumference of the dashboard and on the steering wheel. He was oh god, he was driving a Malibu, but had the picture of a Bentley 
on the steering wheel. And, and, and I would be laughing and, oh my God, dude, you have lost your mind. And I watched him in that two year period take it off the wall and start walking in it. Oh my God. And I'm sitting there now. Now, boy, I'm, I'm gifted, I'm talented. I've read enough books. I've grown up in enough churches. I've, I've listened and I've learned enough to be able to not need a note and speak freely for two hours right now. Mm. Just as gifted, just as talented as him. And he told me, he said, Jared, you're more talented than me. Jared, you're more gifted than me. He says, but, but you're missing something. God, you're missing something. I, I said, uh, what, you, what, what am I missing? He said, you don't. You don't have faith. Oh, <laughs> what do you mean I don't have faith? He said, you don't have faith. You're not operating in faith principle. I said, what do you mean? He said, um, well, you don't have pictures on the wall of what you want. What you want inside of you, you must keep in front of you. Tag and share. What you want inside of you, you must keep in front of you. Eyes that look are common, but eyes that can see are rare. He said, you don't have faith. And I'm closing with this, Dabo. I got to go. I said, you don't have faith. I said, what, what you mean? I said, you don't have all this stuff all, all, all over the wall like me. You're not listening and drowning out your doubt with faith words like me. And most importantly, you ain't tithing. You're not a tither. I said, a tither? I heard of that stuff. What you mean? He said, you don't tithe. He said, I've been tithing. And you don't have to believe in this principle. That's okay. But I'm telling you what, what he told me. This is a friend of mine. We were sharing a number one combo and I watched him literally take Bentleys and mansions that he had posted on the walls of his one bedroom apartment and he was living in them. I said, okay. He said, Jared, just believe me, start tithing. Now, but I remember my first tithe check. My first tie check was $40. Uh, my first tie check was $40. And if I'll be honest, I really needed that $40. My business had gone backwards. Income had started to become depleted. And um, I had to surrender. I said, God, I'm going to try it your way then. Apparently, my hard work is not paying off. And no matter how gifted or talented I am, I'm going to try it your way. And uh, I remember being in church and I looked the part. I looked like I was successful. I had the nice suits on, but. I was a well-dressed mess. No money in the bank. And um, I put that $40 in there. And uh, every time I'd have a check come in, I'd take whatever it was, $20, $40, $100, and I would tithe. And it wasn't less than a year later. Still doing the work. I was still faithful. I was still showing up. I started operating in that principle. I, I um, huh. I went and got the picture of the car that I said I wanted, and I cut it out and I put the picture next to my bed and for home I put it next to my bed. I took a check of how much I want to give and how much I want to earn. And I wrote it to check and I put it right there on my nightstand in my one bedroom apartment. And I, I took out goals and I started writing them and I started pasting them all over my walls. Still doing the work, still being committed. And um, less than a year later, I remember going to church and my tie check that month was $4,000 for the week. In less than a year, it wasn't magic. I was just operating on principle. 
I went from my first tie check being $40 to tithing $4,000 for the week. And from that day to this day, I tell people it has nothing to do with your color. It's nothing to do with your educational background. Success in business has nothing to do with how great of an orator you are, what side of the track you grew up on, what's going on in the economy. If you tap into the kingdom economy, this is not to sound spooky or spiritual or super deep, but when you practice the principles, you will participate in the promises. From that day to this day, our lives have never been the same. Ladies and gentlemen, today we talked about business and finances, but this session was really designed to help you understand the mindset that you have and the mindset you have to evolve to. You have all that you need to be successful in the area of business and in finances right now. What you've got to decide to do is practice these principles so you can participate in the promises. With that, Dabo, thank you so much for having me on for uh, session two. Uh, I'm excited about our future, man. I'm excited about what's going to happen. I'm excited for the people connected to you in this platform. Because I know for a fact, we've got some kingdom financiers that are going to take this thing to a whole nother level. So I'll turn it back over to you. Thank you for having me on. Do you do you do you have any time to talk about build it for your last name? Do you have any time to talk about it or any of the businesses that people want to get involved in? They can contact us later if they want to. But do you have any time to talk about it? I do. You, you know, I, one of the things. That, yeah. One of the things yeah. that we've done in applying these principles is, is really created a, a vision that has morphed into a, a brand all over the world. If you go on Facebook, if you go on YouTube, if you go on Instagram and type in build it for your last name or B-I-F-Y-L-N, you will see thousands of people around the world connected to this vision that it has resonated with them. And it started for me. Uh, in 2015, I was going through a season of transition. And uh, during that season of transition, I fell on my face, my wife and I, for a period of two weeks, fasting and praying, wanting to hear from God, wanting to get a fresh word of what he wanted us to do with our life. And I heard him very clearly say, build it for your last name. I got up from where I was on that floor, ran down to my wife, and I told her what we're going to be doing starting 2016 with the rest of our life is building it for our last name. And we are assigned to people that that resonates with. People that say, you know what? An inheritance is what you leave for people, but a legacy is what you leave in them. And so what we have done with that, with, with this vision and this movement is, is a, a align ourselves with individuals all over the world that care about their health, that care about developing wealth, and more importantly, developing or creating significance in the lives of other people by serving them and helping them solve their problems. And so if somebody was to ask me what the, what was the totality of our life work, it's two phases. Phase number one, it is distributing new ideas. We show up as that person on that phone across from you as you're imprisoned to share new ideas with you. And number two, to help introduce you to who you really are. And so we do that through a series, uh, a series of different platforms. Of course, our, our primary focus in business is our partnership with a, uh, a health and wellness nutrition company uh, that's based here in the States. But we do business double all over the world in about 20 different countries. Uh, for those of you that want to lose weight, that uh, extra 15 during quarantine that you've gained, we've got products that are designed to help you do that. For those of you that are coffee, or tea drinkers, at least on occasion, we've got products that are designed to that to, 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 to help you in that area. And we distribute, we drop ship the products directly 
to your doorstep. For those of you that just want to take products that will build and support your body, your immune system to build it, we've got products that are designed to do just that. Our company has been in business for over 20 years. Uh, we do about uh, 500 to 600 million, a half a billion dollars a year in revenue. So it is completely designed to solve the problem of health for people, to provide them with the solutions to their health, whether it be weight loss, skincare, beauty uh, products, uh, as well, or nutritional supplements. So that is um, our main focus in terms of our the biggest business that we have. And then, of course, our other platforms have to do with uh, coaching, have to do with training and developing and leadership trainings. Um, not only that, but marketing and sales. We've got a design company, design websites and all of those things that we do have. And so you want to connect with me, uh, connect with us, Jared Wilkins. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram. You can go to our pages uh, as well. We'll have them on the screen, builditforyourlastname.com. You can go to that website. You can also go to whendreamscollide.com. Those are the two main websites you can go to, uh, builditforyourlastname.com. You can go there. Uh, you can also go to whendreamscollide.com to find out and connect with us. And uh, we'll love to help you solve your problems. Well, if any of you are having um, any challenge to getting all those information, and if you want to get in, in tune, um, I hope it's when dreams collide or dream. Is it dreams or dream? When dreams, D-R-E-A-M-S, you got it right. So it's, on, it's on screen now, when dreams collide, so you all can see it and register. If anyone want to contact you about, you know, for anything, you want to talk about business and several opportunities, he doesn't really have the time to... Um, to talk about the business, it is it is huge and massive. I know the business. I'm part. I've been part of it. I'm part of it, and I know yes. people who've taken the products and testified of the benefit of it. I've taken the products as well. So you can. The, the not, we have a number there. You can either WhatsApp or send, call us if you're in the UK. WhatsApp wherever you are in the world, or send me a private message in my yes. message. And we'll be able to talk to you about um, the opportunities that are there. And the, the interesting thing, if a lot of you don't realize, the, the, the business opportunities, one of the business opportunities talking about, you can do it from wherever you are. You can literally walk from home. You can be set up from home, you know, from wherever you are. And many of you will be surprised opportunities that are around and within you that you're currently not maximizing. Some of you, if you get in, into most of these businesses that will be announced and are being announced, you would not have to work for nobody. You will, you will literally be, you know, creating um, resources for yourself. You know, I would, I, before I let Gerard go, see, this, this is very important because when we begin to, if I say we begin to pray and do revival and call for healing and miracles and all that, a lot of people will show up and begin to, you know, make comments and tag everybody, everybody will come. But one thing that I've learned over the years is that God is not, God did not create us to depend on miracles. God designed us to create miracles. Because that is why you look through the Bible. It says science will follow them that believe. You know, when you believe, you know, you begin to do something about your belief. You know, God said something to me recently. He said, some have prayed to leave, but I've not planned to leave. Now, for a lot of people who are praying to leave, they don't have a plan to enjoy the life that they are praying to have. So a lot of the people, you know, who, for instance, I do health and fitness. And a lot of the people who are um, praying to leave don't even have nothing to do with their health. You know, Gerard mentioned the health and fitness and beauty products you know what what how what have you set up you know what's your plan to leave what's your what's your plan to enjoy to go to the nations so preach you're talking about kingdom healing the nations what is your plan to get in there you know so i'll let you go thank you so much we will set up this is not the end of it i'm not letting him go he knows that he's my mentor he, he knows that it's not going anywhere so we will continue to engage him but look don't take this for granted because what you've enjoyed in the past how many hours going to two hours now it's something that everyone should have paid i'm not playing everyone should have paid you know to be in this session there are people that um, set up sessions like this we know on facebook instagram that people pay to be a part of because these strategies are things that people pay so much so i'm begging you don't take this for granted go and study go and read go and the more you read the more you visualize the more you keep these things in front of you and act on them you begin to change your mind you know it is a continuous process so please don't take this for granted you know if you want to show any form of appreciation send messages thanks even you know let us know that this this got to you you know if your life is getting changed you benefited from it let us know that this this got to you i would allow you to know i thank you so much for you and your wife portia 
Thank you, sir. I will connect with you after this. I will let him go, then I'll make some brief announcement. Please don't go away. You don't want to miss the announcement that I'll make, but I just want him to go have some water or some, some um, soda or some drink. <laughs> God bless you, sir. We, we appreciate you, and God bless your family, your, your beautiful daughter, and keep your hands strong. I pray that God continue to strengthen your hand to work and to work, that even as you, you work, even as you strategize, as you impact life, that God will undergird your family, cover your family with the blood of Jesus, that no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. We are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy, that as you travel, as you go out there to conquer, to, to take the enemies at the gates, and, and pray that God cover your family, keep your family together, strengthen your wife, and, your, and just give you give you more room, more room in the name of Jesus. We we'll bless God for you and your household. Thank you, sir. Thank we'll let you go. We'll let you go. God bless you. Um, um, we finished for tonight. I just want to bring um, some, um, I show you some some things that you need to be aware of, some businesses you need to be aware of. It is very important for us to bring you aware some businesses are online. I want to show you, talk about them so you know of them, you can connect with them, some of you can partner with them, some of you can enjoy their product. And in case we're doing next time, your business also can future. Now I would not fail to uh, bring my business first. My business is the health and uh, fitness business. I personally train people. I design programs to train people. It doesn't matter where you are, they will design programs for you. If you go to my website, feet.dhdavis.org or dhdavis.org, you'll find all our products and materials there. The next business I want to bring up is this business. I don't want to mention the name of the person that owns this business, but this is um, a train tech business. It's a, it's a training provider business. So if you want to learn about being a business analyst, you want to learn about being a project manager, a change manager, the email address is there. You can do a screenshot quickly while this is going on. If you miss out on any of these businesses, you know, send me a message and ask me. I will send you details of all these businesses that because of time, I probably won't be able to elaborate on every one of them. The next one I want to mention is um is um the Danny Hair Solutions. You know, go on Instagram, their handle is at Danny Bonnet on Facebook, you'll find them also at Danny Bonnet. They do hair products, they do um, bonnet for ladies. I know your ladies understand what that means. I probably won't um, be able to elaborate more on that, but this is what it said. It said they provide care services for parents with kids from newborn and beyond. You know, they will look after abstain, abstain um, children who care, they look after, I tell you, their life has never remained the same. So go and patronize them. I want to also bring up um, um, Nelly's Studio. If you go on Instagram and look at the handle there, it is Nelly Studio. They sell solid original four jackets and other um, handcrafted um, things that they do. So connect with them. Go on Instagram. Go and look at what they do. You'll be surprised not only the buy, but you'll be surprised the opportunities that you'll find um, with these businesses as well. I want to also mention um, Bombo Signature. This is a Nigerian based. Um, organization for all your ladies who need African opera. Look at this beautiful dress. You never believe that it was made in Nigeria. But Bombo Signature, if you go on Instagram, you will find them at Bombo's underscore signature. Go and look up their handle, connect with them, you know, tell your friends in Nigeria. And they, they, they make um, fabrics and, and clothing for people anywhere in the world. They send to the UK, America, and any part of the world to go and connect with them. The next business I'm bringing up is um, Alpha Security Solutions. Um, the owner of this business is online right now. He will provide training for security agencies, for those people who need uh, securities for your organization, for your events, personal guard, personal protection, or you want training for securities. They provide all those facilities uh, for security training. So please look them up on Facebook, Alpha Security Industries. You will see the logo and you'll be able to identify with them. I want to also introduce uh, DLB Beauty. Well, she's online right now. Um, DLB Beauty um, is one of our sisters who does wonderful beauty products. Um, it is our, our products are amazing. I think they've got you know, the commercial if I have the time to play them. Our, our beauty products are amazing. We've seen them, my wife has used them, and we can attest to the fact that they are they are good products. They are something that you can identify with. So go and patronize them. Go and patronize them. Go and patronize them, all right? They, they they do from foundations to lipsticks to um, eyebrows and eyeshadows. I think I'm trying eyebrows and eyeshadows and all the different things that you can make up, all the different things. 
you can um, you can imagine um, they do. So go and patronize these businesses. Like I said, if you want to know more about these businesses, send me a message, and then we will be able to link you up with them. Next time, we would ask for more people to send their business opportunities and what business they do, so we can advertise you. This is going all over. So please, 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 if you need information, the number is there, or send me a personal message. We also want to hear from you to know what you're doing, how you're doing, what benefit this has been to you. So encourage us to do more. What benefit it has been to you? You know how. Um, what what steps? Some of you need guide. You know what step you need to um, to follow to achieve. And some of you need a challenge. Say, look, I've had all these things. This is where I'm stuck. Now I manage a consultancy business as well. So if you're a startup, if you need business coaching, personal development, both fitness and health, or personal development in other areas, we'll be able to package you. We'll be able to structure you. We'll be able to brand you, and then launch you out as a business. You cannot be stuck. Everything is in the kingdom. We don't only pray. We pray. We plan, and we pursue. You know, I said during my preaching on Sunday, I said, you must discover what God has called you to do. You must develop it. You must dominate. You must um, discover. You must develop. You must deploy it. You must dominate the area God has called you to dominate. And then you can ensure that your domain is looked after. So discover what God has called you to do. Develop it. Deploy it. Which means begin to engage it. Make profit from it. Then dominate your domain so there are five days some of you have identified it you have discovered it you need to develop it if you have your challenge you've challenged in that area let us know some of you have discovered develop it you don't know how to deploy just like these businesses you don't know how to advertise you don't know how to put yourself out there you know get in touch we'll help you some of you have deployed but you're not seeing profit you are not dominating you're asking questions you're almost giving up connect with us and ask us questions we'll be able to help if we can help will refer you to the experts and the professionals in your area of expertise. So we look forward to seeing you. I'm your brother, Nabo David. Look, I'm one of the most exciting individuals um, today because I know that your life will never remain the same. I am still, I am feeling fired up. I know that your life will never remain the same. We want to see you on top. We do not want you to be on the bottom. The bottom is overcrowded. We don't just want you to pray. We want you to pray. We want you to occupy. And we want you to expand God's kingdom with the wealth that God has given us. Continue to share. I will try as much as possible to get um, um, Gerald to come again. And perhaps his wife. So the ladies can tell you. You're not just getting all of the men. Maybe his wife will come and talk to us at some point. He's hearing me. So I'm already placing the man on that. I know he'll be smiling. But there are all... There are many other resources in form of human beings that we have access to. We want to maximize them because we want the kingdom to work. We want the kingdom to work. We need resources to do the kingdom. All the facilities that we're, we're using to bring this broadcast to you for free, you know, they are all um, bought by with money. They, they didn't fall from the sky. We didn't pray them and then they fell out from the sky. They were bought with money. So if you want to be a part of what we're doing, you say, look, what is DH Davis Global about? I want to be a part of DH Davis Global. Please, please send me a message. We're organizing events, conferences, programs. Get in touch with me and ask me questions. You know, you know, in Nigerian vernacular, they say people that ask questions don't get lost. You don't miss your way if you ask questions. So there is no stupid question. Ask us any kind of question and we'll be able to answer or we will refer you to people who have um, the expertise of that. All right, I'm going to let you all go now. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Please continue to share and go and listen to this again and again. Yes, Jackie, you need to watch from the beginning. There was so much, you know, said during this broadcast, you know, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. God bless you. I'll let you all go now. Bye for now. Bye for now. So I enjoy your evening. Enjoy your evening. The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I?
Could God and all things possible? When my desire aligns with the divine, I am unstoppable. In this, I will be confident. Of course, the climb is hard. I'm not surprised. The dream is difficult by design to make sure I rely on his might, not mine. His plan, not mine. His hand, not mine. My assignment was conceived in his heart, his mind. And the blessing ahead will always be greater than the battle behind. So this is not the time to compromise or entertain a thousand lies. The million reasons why I can or it won't or it's not or I'm never. I've heard it before, so shut up, devil. God didn't say he'd make it easy. He said he'd make me better, make me strong, and give me grace to carry on. No matter what the opposition, I only need one weapon. I have the faith to overcome. In this, I will be confident. I'm too close to quit, and the stakes are too great for me to hesitate. So whatever it costs, whatever it takes, I keep coming. I show up to take a shower, my hands shaking. The fear is real, but it won't break me. God will not fail me, nor forsake me. I keep coming. I step to the battle like it's already won. Like I got the enemy on the run. I speak and believe like it's already done. In this, I will be confident. He gave me a promise. He gave me a call. I know that he's able to keep me from falling. I focus my hope. My excuses are gone. The moment to prove the power of God is gone. He made me a promise. He gave me a calling. I know that he's able to keep me from falling. I focus my hope. The past is gone. The moment to prove the power of God is gone. In this, I will be confident. The time is now. The odds are over. The haters are loud. The pressure is on. The devil, you mess with the wrong one. I got my strength. I got my soul. And in the name of my Lord of